twice. He led the NFL in rushing touchdowns. Uh, during their two Super Bowl runs, uh, the Seattle Seahawks, including the one Super Bowl they won, in six playoff games, he had 606 rushing yards and six rushing touchdowns. Uh, you know, so definitely played a huge role in both of those Super Bowl runs. Uh, made the Pro Bowl in five of his nine seasons. Uh, Marshawn Lynch retiring at the age of 30. Number six, defensive end in the NFL, Jared Allen. Jared Allen played 12 seasons in the NFL and finished with a career 136 sacks, which is the ninth most in NFL history. He twice led the NFL in sacks, including in 2011 when he finished with 22 sacks, which is just half a sack behind Michael Strahan's all-time record for a single season. Uh, Allen was a five-time Pro Bowler. Four times was named All-Pro First Team. First Team All-Pro. And eight of his 12 seasons, he had at least 11 sacks. So, you know, Jared Allen, definitely one of the more feared pass rushers over the past decade. And, you know, a guy... Uh, also another potential Hall of Famer. Um... You know, we'll see how it goes. A guy like Michael Strahan didn't make it in his first try. I believe it took Warren Sapp two tries. Strahan also two. Uh, you know, so we'll see if Allen ever gets his plaque into Canton. Uh, you know, those five guys all had great careers. Uh, but these five guys, I believe, are sure fire Hall of Famers. No doubters. And, you know, it's a shame that we'll never get to see them play on a professional level again. And we're going to start with number five, another 30-year-old calling it quits in the NFL. Uh, you know, this guy, of course, still seemed to be in the prime of his career. That is Calvin Johnson, wide receiver from the Detroit Lions, played nine seasons in the NFL, uh, made six Pro Bowls, was three to- um, excuse me, was named first team All Pro three times. For his career, 731 receptions for 11,619 yards and 83 touchdowns. He's in the record books uh, for the most reception y- receiving yards in a season. 1,964 receiving yards in 2012. Uh, four times in his career, he had at least 12 receiving touchdowns. And his career, 86.1 yards receiving per game, is currently second all-time to Julio Jones, currently of the Atlanta Falcons. Um, You know, so just a phenomenal career from Calvin Johnson. Uh, You know, fortunately calling it quits after just nine seasons, but, you know, those nine seasons were absolutely dominant. And I truly believe that he is a no-doubter for the Football Hall of Fame. Number four on the list, and you know, this is how how great these top five are, that Calvin Johnson's number five, and that this guy is number four. Charles Woodson, a longtime Raider, also played with the Packers, uh, you know, began his career as a cornerback, then moved to safety, played 18 seasons in the NFL, Uh, His 65 career interceptions are tied for the fifth most in NFL history. He returned 11 of those 65 interceptions for touchdowns, tied for second all-time, only one behind Rod Woodson for the NFL record, forced 33 33 fumbles in his career, made nine Pro Bowls, three times was named first-team All-Pro, uh, was the 1998 Defensive Rookie of the Year, and as a member of the Packers, won a Super Bowl, and also was named the 2009 Defensive Player of the Year. Definitely one of the best players to ever, uh, you know, play in the secondary in NFL history. Yet he's only number four on the list. You know, like I said, just so hard to rank these guys, and I'm sure I'm going to upset a few people with who I put number three. Uh, you know, some guys, some people may think that he should be number one, and you know, he could definitely be. It could definitely be argued that he should be number one. Like I said, it was just so hard to rank these guys. Uh, you know, so don't get too mad at me, please. Number three on the list, 
Kobe Bean Bryant. Kobe Bryant. 20 seasons with the Lakers. Um, you know, just look at his you know career records. 33,643 career points. Third all time. Only behind Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and the mailman Karl Malone. Uh, his per game averages in... Per game averages in his career, 25.0 points per game, 5.2 rebounds, and 4.7 assists. 18-time All-Star, and in four of those All-Star games, he was named the MVP. Um, Five-time NBA champion in two of those five championships. He was named the Finals MVP, uh, once was named the regular season MVP. Maybe could have won, probably should have won more. Only won one, but 11 times he finished in the top five in MVP voting. So in over half his seasons, he was a top five MVP finisher. And, you know, just a guy who lived in the playoffs. 170 career playoff games in his career. Uh, You know, Kobe Bryant, definitely a player that will be missed. And number two, uh, you know, this guy didn't have, you know, other arenas, uh, you know, giving him, you know, a celebration uh, for his career, you know, because he just quietly announced after uh, the season was over that he would be retiring, and that's basically what his whole career is about, been about do things quietly, but be super productive, seen by most as the greatest power forward in NBA history, Tim Duncan, uh, 19 seasons with the San Antonio Spurs. His 26,496 career points are 14th all-time. His 15,091 rebounds are 6th all-time. And his 3,020 blocks are 5th all-time in NBA history. Uh, You know, just quietly produced at a superb level throughout his career. Seemed like he never aged. You know, played until he was 40. Uh, but, you know, wasn't that much different of a player at the end of his career as he was towards the beginning. Just a few less minutes per game. Uh, made 15 All-Star games in his career. Won five championships. Uh, tw- excuse me. T- three of those five championships he was named the Finals MVP. Uh, once was named the All-Star game MVP. Twice was named MVP of the regular season. Tim Duncan, as I mentioned, seen by most as the best power forward in NBA history. Um, Even though more towards the second half of his career, he played a lot of center as well. Uh, You know, I would say the beginning of his career, especially when they had David Robinson, though, he was playing power forward. So kind of half and half playing power forward and center. But, you know, doesn't really matter. He's still an all-time great in the game. Uh, you know, probably Duncan and Bryant are on most people's top 10 all-time um, NBA players. And, you know, both of them are retiring the same year, which means they'll both be uh, inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame the same year. So what an induction uh, that will be. Uh, but Duncan finished as the runner-up, uh, you know. Of course, he could have been number one as well, and, you know, I would have no problem with you arguing that. But number one on the list is a guy who went out on top uh, this past February, winning his second Super Bowl of his career. Uh, That is Peyton Manning, a longtime quarterback with the Colts, spent the last few seasons with the Denver Broncos, played 17 seasons altogether as a starting quarterback, his record was 186 and 79. I believe those 186 wins is tied with Brett Favre for the most by a starting quarterback in NFL history. Won five MVPs during his career. Uh, as I mentioned, twice won the Super Bowl. Uh, when he won it with the Colts, he was named Super Bowl MVP. Made 14 Pro Bowls and was seven times named um, a first team All Pro. Uh, many career records. Uh, well, first, most passing yards career, 71,940. And the most passing touchdowns, 539. A lot of people thought his career was done after he suffered a neck injury. You know, the Colts moved on from him. You know, they got Andrew Luck with the first overall pick. Um, 
you know, so you can't fully question the decision. But, you know, I'm sure he wanted to prove him wrong. And boy, did he ever, uh, you know, after signing with the Denver Broncos, his 2013 season was historical. Uh, most passing yards in a season in NFL history, 5,477. And also the most passing touchdowns in a season with 55. So, you know, of course, this list is extremely hard to come up with, especially, you know, the order uh, that I listed them. I just had to include Peyton Manning number one, uh, you know, probably some people's best quarterback of all time. That could be argued, you know, for days, weeks, months. I'm not here to do that. You know, there'll be those who believe Brady is, those who say Montana, some who will say Unitas, some will say Elway, some will say Marino, some will say Favre. You know, how could you really judge who the best quarterback of all time is? Uh, you know, but Peyton Manning's numbers definitely, of course, put him in the argument with all the records he have he has, he has broken during his career and, of course, went out on top when the Denver Broncos defeated the Carolina Panthers in Super Bowl 50 this past February. So there you have it. As you can see, many star athletes have retired, and they will be all missed in their respective sports. Uh, you know, But, of course, the show must go on. And, you know, um, Peyton Manning heading the list. Um, you know, now they'll have Mark Sanchez at quarterback, the Denver Broncos. Uh, we'll see how the Broncos could do in their quest to repeat as Super Bowl champions. Uh, but that will wrap up episode number 78. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know, it's crazy how many episodes I've gone through. You know, I first went on the air almost two years ago. I believe my first episode coincided with the first Sunday of the NFL season in 2014, so, you know, in a few weeks' time, I'll have been on the air, you know, my first show would have been two years ago, you know, time flies, you know, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed uh, doing the show for you, uh, you know, most Sundays, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern, um, you know, that is what it is most of the time, but, you know, sometimes plans, uh, you know, things I can't control happen, can't get on the air at 5, you know, I'll try to do a show at a different time, and that's why I fully, strongly recommend you become a follower of the show, therefore you will always know when Real Sports Talk with Kenny Kluska is on the air, uh, you know, so hit that follow button here on Spreaker, become a follow, become a follower, and I promise to provide you good material each and every week. Thank you all so much for listening. Until next week, goodbye, everybody.